Hello there. I'm going to talk about why I train seven days a week and uh, details about my style of training. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, I've been training for more than 20 years. I train clients for more than 20 years. And uh, if my words don't appeal to you, then just, just look at the results. I mean, I think I know what I'm talking about from what you see on screen. So, uh, seven things about my style of training. First of all, I train seven days a week. Why do I train seven days a week? Because if I had a rest day, what would I be doing? What would you be doing? Would you be sitting on the couch? Would you be doing nothing? I don't think so. We should be active every day. We brush our teeth every day. We eat every day. Take a shower hopefully every day. We should be able to train every day, at least for a good 20, 30 minutes at least. You can find some time throughout the day to train. Anybody can. So I train seven days a week. That doesn't mean I do like heavy squats seven days a week. No, that's silly. I train seven days a week and it's a mixture of five elements, which I'm going to talk about. The second point, there are five elements of fitness. Lifting weights is just one element. I don't know why people enter the gym and they think barbell squats, bench press, deadlifts, that's how we do the gym thing. That's not how you train in reality. You cannot bench press a bear that's attacking you. You cannot deadlift five people that are attacking you on the street with knives. You cannot squat your way out of a tsunami that's heading towards you and your family. You need to incorporate other elements of fitness. So I'm going to tell, about, tell you about them. First of all, it's stamina. Duh, cardio. You need cardio. You need to run your ass off to save your life. I don't know why people neglect cardio. It's stamina. You need stamina to win a fight, to save your life, to run from danger, to save others. You're going to be huffing and unpuffing. There's no time to waste when your life is on the line. So you need stamina. Put stamina first on your priority. Second is stretching. You need to stretch. You need to move your body. You need to be nimble. Why do you have a bad back? Why do you have a sore neck? Why do you have hamstrings that you've never stretched before? You, can you touch your toes? Think about these things. You need stretching in your workouts. Next, the third thing is speed. You need speed. Speed to run from danger. Speed to throw a punch. Speed is more important than the fourth element, and which is strength. We all know what strength is, lifting heavy. And then the fifth element, skills. On top of all four, you put them all together and you have skills. So what are some skills examples? Handstands, muscle ups, I don't know, doing a cartwheel, just putting it all together, everything that you incorporate from stamina, stretching, speed, and strength. Combine them all four together and you can do some fun and crazy things with your body. Isn't that amazing? Now, the third part of my style of training is that I do intermittent fasting. I know people can go to the extreme. They can do one day fast, uh, several days of fasting, a week of fasting, a month of fasting. That's too much. Too much for my body. Okay? Skipping breakfast in the morning is enough for me because I lift heavy, so I need to have food for energy. So. I can do without breakfast, and you can too. So skip breakfast. You eat. You your first meal is going to be your lunch, which is around noon. All right. So that's the third part of my training regimen. Fourth part is variety. You need to develop your own fitness portfolio. Now my fitness portfolio will be different from yours, based on what your interests and hobbies are. So maybe you're interested in BJJ. I'm not interested in BJJ. I'm not interested in rolling around with sweaty guys on the floor, but to each his own. If you want to do BJJ, go for it. If you like rock climbing, go for it. If you like parkour, go for it. If you like playing soccer, you like playing basketball, tennis. What the point is, you need to have a variety. You do not just stick to lifting weights because it's going to get boring over time. So you need to add variety to your fitness portfolio, which allows you to train seven days a week. So 
I'll give you an example. One, day one, you can lift heavy. Day two, go for a run. Day three, swim. Day four, you can play tennis. Day five, play basketball. Day six, just focus on yoga. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you see my point here? The more activities you incorporate into your fitness portfolio, the more fun it will be and more diverse it will be. So for myself, I incorporate calisthenics, boxing, Muay Thai, gymnastics, swimming, yoga, and b-boying. The fifth area of my, my style of training is flow. Okay, now, flow is so important to me. Now, to make it simple, my style of training is HIT combined with circuit training. So if you don't know what HIT is, H-I-I-T, high intensity interval training combined with circuit training. So I don't stop when I'm in the gym. When I start, I don't stop. I don't sit down. I don't take breaks unless I have to go to the bathroom or wipe sweat off my brow. But other than that, I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly flowing. So I'll give you an example. If I'm using the squat rack, I'm doing Squats in between sets, I'm stretching, I'm moving my body, I'm shadow boxing, I'm doing something. Not just sitting on my ass, because I don't want my blood flow to go all the way down, my heart rate go to all the way down. I bring it back up, keep it flow and high, keep it high. Torture your body, right? Too many of you are sitting on your asses playing with your smartphones. You're just wasting time, you're just wasting space in the gym. You gotta cut that shit out. So always flowing. So an analogy would be like if you were driving. Do you know the worst part about driving is just dealing with red lights? Imagine you were driving and there were all green lights, just endless green lights. That's what it's like for me when I train. Endless green lights. I'm just going, I'm just going and going and going and not stopping. I'm, I don't have to accelerate. I don't have to brake. I just keep going at the same steady pace from the start of my workout till the end of my workout. So if you see me in the gym, I don't have time to chit chat. I hate people who try to chit chat with me because I'm just keep going. You're just stopping. You're putting the brakes on my workout. Don't put brakes on your workout. Notice that. Just keep pushing yourself. How long can you keep this up for? 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, an hour, two hours. Test it out. Test your stamina out. Sixth part of my training regimen is sweat and suffer. If there's no sweat here, I didn't train. If there's no sweat on your brow, you didn't train hard enough. That's the simple fact. I I've seen like girls just like enter the gym, they sit on a yoga mat, they take selfies, and then they leave. And they didn't even break a sweat. My God. You need to sweat and suffer. That's the only way your muscles, that's the only way your body's going to grow. Is through sweat and suffering. So, next time you go to the gym, start running on the treadmill first for 20 minutes. Build up a sweat. When you're lifting, try lighter weights and go for more reps. Try to go for a 100 reps. I, I brought this up in the previous video about using light dumbbells. So look, look watch that video. The point is, you need to develop a sweat here, a sweat here. If there's no sweat dripping from your brow, you didn't train hard enough. Why do I do boxing? Because I love throwing punches forever. There are no rounds for me when it comes to boxing. When I shadow box, I just keep going until I'm dead tired. I just keep hitting the heavy bag until I am dead tired. Until that sweat is just blocking my view for I can't see anymore. That's how hard I train. The sweat. That's all you need to know. You don't need a fitness watch. You don't need an app. You don't need any of that junk. If you're that analytical, just count the number of beads of sweat that are dripping from your forehead. That's all you need. Do it old school. And then the final, final thing when it comes to my style of training is that I eat twice and I sleep twice. So I, I brought this back about intermittent fasting. I skip breakfast. So I eat lunch and I eat dinner. But I also sleep twice. So I sleep at night, obviously. And I take a siesta. I take a nap. Now, this is very common for fighters. Fighters, they train in the morning, and then they eat, and they take a nap in the afternoon. 
and then they do it all over again at night. You don't have to do this, but it is good for your health. I don't know why we cut out naps when we became adults. I mean, kids take naps because they're, they're full of energy. If you're an adult, if you want more energy, take more naps. It's as simple as that. Energy drinks, pop, uh, I don't know, caffeine and all that. It doesn't work for me. The, the best form of energy is sleep. Okay, the more sleep I get at night and the more naps I take, the more rejuvenated I feel, the more energy I have. So, if you want energy, just take more naps. It could be a 15-minute nap, a one-hour nap. I don't know. It's up to you. But I'm saying, for me, I eat twice and I sleep twice. And that's why I look tired right now because I just woke up from my nap to make this video. So, hope this video helps. If you want to learn how to train you want to train with me click the link down below get some online personal training with me justin okay and we can work one-on-one -on -one together so the link is down below click on it thanks for watching i'll talk to you later bye